right guys so this is going to be a airy sun moon and as well rising weekly tarot a career reading for uh december 23rd to december 29 2019 and uh, while i'm shuffling the cards i would like to tell you that uh, if you do want any more personal information or information in general how to get in touch with me or um to schedule a uh, personal reading you can check the description down below in the into the video in there hopefully you're gonna have all the information needed. Okay, so uh, once again, let me shuffle and let's see what your Aries is, are, Aries are to encounter career-wise. So uh, the first card, which represents the topic of your career week here uh, is going to be the Ace of Cups, uh, followed by the next one, which stands for the energies supporting that a career topic for you. This is to be the Three of Cups. The third card, it represents the challenges in career that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Six of Pentacles followed by the fourth one that represents the gifts and the blessings career-wise that you're going to have. That is going to be the strength card, followed by the uh, fifth one, which represents how others see you, or in this case, how your boss, uh, the, your co-workers, or uh, in general, you know, the people whom you are, uh, you are applying um, for, it, for a job are going to see you as, and that is going to be the nine of uh, wands. The uh, sixth card represents what is going to help your long-term career goals. You know, the goals that this week it is just a, a stepping stone for, and that is going to be the death card. The seventh card represents uh, what is going to obstruct your goals, uh, your long-term goals, or what is going to hurt them, and that is going to be the ten of wands. And the final eight card of the spread, it is the guidance that uh, Tarot is offering to you, and that is to be the Queen of Swords. All right, so um, as far as I can, as far as I know, this is the very last a working week for at least for the majority of the people. So the topic for you as well with the energies that are surrounding the topic, these two cards need to be interpreted together because they are tightly uh, related. It looks like that there are to be many new offerings or uh, propositions in regards to your career. I tell you a fantastic time, guys, Aries, to either plan the new, the new year, the new working year as big as you can plan it, or uh, a... Um, and an opportunity to strive for, in generally, a new enterprises, new promotions, or a new job throughout a this week. It's kind of like finalizing your current one, and um, you know, striving afterwards for the new for a new one. That is for reason being is that the Ace of Cups, career-wise, always offers a, a a surprising turn of a I would say events that are making your future prospect career-wise quite exhilarating. So definitely we are talking about a circumstances career-wise for you that are definitely you are going to like and you are going to be quite pleased that they are appearing. Additionally to that, the energies which are supporting the, um, the topic, it is um, the productivity that you are working with. Three of Cups, when we're talking about energies in career, refers to the uh, forming energies over the results that you are producing initially when you start doing something, okay? So in other words, you are to, uh, already you have been proven to be somewhat a valuable asset and by stepping on this um, assessment of being a valuable asset for the company or for the career path in general here, uh, it does look like guys that you are to be recognized not just only by your boss or co-workers as well, but also probably by other people. So uh, just looking at those cards this week, it's, it looks like to be the week where you're going to sprout your horizons in regards to career-wise opening for your Yourself, um, uh, quite new options, uh, quite new options available in general to to move on forward from uh, from now on. 
So the next card represents the challenges uh, that you have to face, and this is the challenge of the Six of Pentacles. And while you are gonna have those circumstances, you know, these circumstances resides in the next year. And this is what the Six of Pentacles refers to, all right? It refers to that you are to be given a hope, or rather like you are to be given a, uh, how do you say it in English? It's not even a hope, but let's say a promise, but right now the hierarchy is brought to bear and there is a certain either stipulations or I would say uh, some sort of a uh, arrangements that needs to be done before you can actually move on forward into these new heights. And uh, the challenge here is to just know your place uh, in general. I mean, just because you know your uh, boss accolades you right now for what you are doing, that doesn't mean that they are investing everything in you, all right? So know your place. Don't become overconfident, if you will, uh, and don't overstepping the uh, the power, the means, or by in, in generally the trust that have been given to you with the tasks uh, in regards to your career. Another thing challenging for you, Aries, is to um, make some magic at the very final days of uh, or the very final working days throughout this uh, throughout this week. What I mean it is uh, that uh, some of the uh, some of the tasks that you will have to close settle uh, and in generally performing will require some um, creativity if you will. And uh, this is what you're going to find difficult to execute up for one or another reason. Now the blessings that the week is going to have for you career-wise, this is the strength card. And that is a, an, an enormous uh, potential here that we do have. Now, the strength here points to an indestructibility of the things you negotiate over, you perform at, you create, you establish. Okay, so whatever you work for throughout this week, it's it can't be destroyed by anything or anybody around. So that's why it is a fantastic week where you negotiate your promotion, your raise in salary, you know, you start searching for another job, for example, and all those kind of things. Because with the Ace of Cups as a um, as a topic, uh, once again, we definitely have a, a very exhilarating new circumstances happening which are to transcend your reality in regards to career-wise. Now, one more thing with the strength card as a blessing and a gift here, that is the gift of being able to persevere through patience in, rea in general, or what I'm trying to say here, it is the, uh, say you have something in mind, and while everybody around is trying to convince you out of it, uh, you don't feel the necessity to constantly explain yourself, but rather your idea and your actions. Will, you will want to allow your idea and your actions to speak louder than your words. Now, how others sees you, it is the other card. How your coworkers, your boss, or the people that you're trying to apply in front are seeing you as. And that is the nine of uh, wands. Uh, there is only a couple of things I can say about this card. They see you as a very experienced uh, asset that they can attract for the new position, you know, for the tasks ahead or for the new job. It does depend what your goal is. And also a person who kind of is capable to align himself according to how the wind blows, right? It's not like you are way too stubborn, but you can very well assess the um, situation or the future situations that are to appear or to pop in front of you and therefore take the best actions possible. But the best thing that they're going to see in you is a fully capable individual to um, tackle with the rough stuff, you know, to call the, the tough decision to decisions, excuse me, to manage the crisis that can appear, etc. etc. Now, the next card it represents the uh, what can help your goals. Uh, that this is long term career goals. And that is the death card. It kind of correlates very, very well with the Ace of Cups. The death card points that the certain stage is already complete. What I mean is that you are finding yourself at the end of a cycle here regarding career, and now you have to think of how you can jump into the next level. If that means changing your job, so be it. You know, if that means that you have to abandon certain. Um, 
how can I say, outdated concept, so be it. But the thing with the death card is that the death point that things are in flux right now and there are certain outdated aspects, you know, outdated um, burdens, if you will, or goals as well, if you will, that needs to be abandoned and replaced with a more refreshed versions, more upgraded versions, if you will, of them. So the other card here uh, is going to stand as a um, what is going to uh, hurt your goals in the long term. And that is the Ten of Wands. And uh, it also correlates very, very well with the Death card. In this particular case, the uh, Ten of Wands, I don't know how to describe it because it goes from a long way back. Okay, so I have to start for quite a far here. The Ten of Wands in this case represents the eagerness wants to prove capable in anything. Okay, it's, it's like someone tells you can you do that and even if you um, kind of like have doubts that is going to be uh, successful or even is going to be lucrative at all, you say yes regardless just to prove yourself capable. So such a standpoint needs to be abandoned here. You need to think with your head and take only the battles the tasks and the enterprises that are going to allow you to grow and not that are going to put you into a stalemate. Okay. Another thing with the Ten of Wands, it is a, about being way too strict and way too by the book, if you will. And that is probably what is going to cause the difficulty with being creative when it comes to the very final finish lines of the enterprises throughout this week. And the last card that we do have for you, Aries, that represents the guidance regarding career, and that is going to be the Queen of Swords. So guidance-wise here, um, you have what it takes to push your things through. Uh, it's definitely what the card points. Additionally to that, guidance-wise, uh, the card urges you to, um, how can I say it? Mm, to, well, it's it's like try to prepare to prepare for the future. Or in other words, do not neglect the signs that you are seeing right now, the warnings that you are seeing right now, or the uh, opportunities that you can predict that are to happen. So in other words, it's like a chess game and you have to think two moves uh, ahead. Additionally to that, the Queen of Swords, it's like do not walk away from responsibility kind of a card where uh, if you get involved yourself into something, you, uh, by uh, wavering out of it, is going to make you look very, very bad. So that is another reason why you should consider involving yourself at the first place into something that does not look as lucrative as you want it to be or as or it can be as successful as you want it to be. So Aries, uh, finally, it looks like that a quite an appropriate finish week for your work here into December 23rd to December 29th, 2019, guys. It's time to plan the very first moves uh, when it comes to 2020. And uh, luckily for you, it, lo it looks like that you are going to have all the prerequisites you need in order to do so. So that being said, guys, uh, this was your uh, weekly career reading. And if you are interested in uh, watching your um, weekly love reading, you can check the description down below and there you're going to find the link for it. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.